It's a 1914 Case steam engine, uh, made in Racine, Wisconsin. I bought it at an auction in Sparta, Wisconsin in 2001. The steam engines were um, the vehicles that um, drove the Industrial Revolution, um, broke the prairies and started you know, modern agriculture the way we know it. So it, it really is a piece of the past that still is alive. This one runs on wood, anything that'll burn actually. A lot of them used to use coal um, out on the prairies where they didn't have wood. They actually had special models that would burn straw. Uh, I burn uh, wood to heat the water to make the steam. Here's the fire going. Okay, so we saw the fire was back here. The hot gases go through this tube, the boiler tube here. There's 42 two inch uh, boiler tubes in there. So the hot gases will go from the fire through those uh, two inch tubes and then up the smokestack. Uh, this is called a water leg. So it tells me how much water is in the uh, boiler at all times. So you can see I got this right here. The water makes steam. Steam rises to this dome in the back. Then it goes through, if you've ever seen, uh, the guy with the little balls up there is a fly ball governor. And then it comes down. So in, in this cylinder, there's a 10 inch piston uh, connected to the rod here. And so the piston uh, goes to here, the valve opens up, steam expands 1600 to one at boiling temperature. It pushes the piston this way. This valve opens up, it pushes it back. So I, I have power on both ends of my stroke and then the steam gets exhausted, comes down and goes up the smokestack and helps draw that hot gases uh, through the boiler tubes when you're working hard. So that if you hear the, see the puffing, like on an old uh, steam locomotive, that's when the exhaust is going through and going up the smokestack. To run a steam engine is not that difficult, but to run it good is uh, takes some finesse.